Pole dancing, an activity typically associated with sex, strippers and women, has been given a shake-up over the last few years with some new participants gracing the stage. to three Sydney-based male pole dancers about stigma, masculinity and pole. I would say my friend actually suggested pole dancing mm -hmm. and at the time I had this whole stereotype about pole dancing. and I loved what I saw. I saw like their teacher doing like an upside down split. I thought it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And then I did a private with one of the instructors there and I fell in love with it. So they were right. It was full of girls, I was the only boy there. Um, the instructors there were pretty new as well. Um, so it was a little bit all over the place and I was a bit of a sweaty mess and didn't really know what I was doing, I'm not that coordinated or anything, but um, yeah, I got into the, the hang of it pretty quick. Based on real social media comments and experiences, I talked to the guys about myths surrounding the sport they all adore. Um, guys can't pole dance because they're not graceful enough. Um, I have my days where I fit that stereotype. <laughs> Just look at ballet and male ballet dancers and I'm sure if someone out there, female or male, wanted to take up pole dancing, you know, you're not going to be this graceful swan for starting off. Even in Australia, we've got a large heterosexual male base of pole, um, pole dancers who look very masculine when they pole dance. You don't need to have that feminine flair or that dramatic flair about you to pole dance. Anyone can really do it and there are multiple styles of pole dancing. That's always a really interesting point. Um, I mean, it actually started with males a long time ago when um, the Chinese uh, started pole dancing with Chinese pole, which was based around guys. Um, I mean, it's got all different facets and different directions that it goes in these days, which is awesome. That's what makes it very special. I mean, a lot of the performers who are male are dancers and gymnasts themselves and probably have more grace and better lines than most of the girls I teach. So I think that's rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Um, we do a lot of dancing with pole and I think everything flows and it looks just as pretty as, and graceful as what the women make it look like. Men on the pole look very masculine. I even think that men wearing heels can look masculine. It just depends how you do it. I don't necessarily think that wearing heels automatically makes you look feminine. So the whole thing with heels, I mean, again, it might depend on what sort of style of pole dancing you like to do. Um, you know, I guess a lot of the a lot of the dance classes and that might encourage you to wear heels. A lot of studios don't really care if you do or you don't. Um, some of them sort of really want you to. Um, I mean, when you think about it, it, it makes your legs longer for one thing, so you get extra extension for your legs. Um, it forces you to have more control and more balance because you can't jump off a pole wearing seven, eight, nine inch heels or you'll break an ankle. So it teaches you a lot of control and balance. I've, I've told heaps of guys, you know, pole dancing is really good and straight guys do it too because I think a lot of people will think that gay guys only do pole dancing. Probably half of the male students I've had have always been straight. Um, in Sydney, it's probably most of them are gay, but um, yeah, I think in general it's probably pretty equal. Yeah, um, again, it depends where they come from and what their backgrounds are, you know, whether they're dancers or gymnasts or they're being dragged along by their girlfriends or whatever. It's, my experience has been roughly half-half. the people that you meet through it, women and men, like, they're all amazing people and I guess it's the community that brings you back a lot of the time as well.
Um, I'm proud to be a pole dancer. I don't care about any negative comments that I get. People get so worked up, I just ignore the negative comments. Like, there's nothing that you could say to me about pole that would make me think anything apart from the fact that it's amazing. Like, it's done so much for me and it's done so much for so many people around me that are important to me that I, yeah, I love pole, so, yeah.